Well, if we thought the last game was going to be a tight game, and here's the second tight game. Alaves versus Las Palmas. Alaves at plus 105, Las Palmas plus 300. The draw is at plus 225. Now, Las Palmas' double chance is only at minus 125. Uh, Oaks, I'm not sure here because over two goals is at minus 115. So it's almost like a coin flip. Are we going to get over two, under two, or exactly two? Yeah, if I if I had to guess, I would say we're probably going to get exactly two. This feels like a 1-1 draw. Las Palmas is very stingy defensively. Alves, as we've talked about a lot, they're just they're not very good. Um, and listen, if, if I had to pick a side, I, I'd probably back Las Palmas on the road here. They seem like they're playing the better football. They definitely can defend better. I have faith in their ability to cl- keep a clean sheet, whereas Alaves, I, I just don't love a lot of what they got going on this season. Are you, uh, are you not thinking that the way with Alaves, it's like, they start nil-nil, they then edge into games, and if they're going to win, they're going to win it late. And the thing is with Las Palmas is that they're athletic, and they're thinking that the best form of defence is offence. And I'm thinking, well, if Alaves sit back and then Las Palmas are on the attack, then Alaves are not going to be getting many goal-scoring opportunities, and Las Palmas don't score many goals. So that's probably why we've got the, uh, the two. What do you make of these two? I know that, again, it's an ugly sister, Klaus. Are these two going to uh, two wrongs going to make a right, and we're going to end up with another either nil nil or one one draw? Well, you know, I, I stayed away from this one as well. But here's the thing: I was listening very carefully while I was listening. I was looking at the stats as well, just to confirm that I was in the right theory. And here's the thing: Las Palmas, since I've lost against Real Madrid, and even before that, because they managed to beat Granada right before that, but then they beat Celta, they beat Villarreal, they lost one goal to nail against Rayo, who. It's a pretty attractive team when it comes to a style. Uh, they beat Almeria, which is not something great. They beat Atletico Madrid, two goals to one. They tied against Osasuna, and they lost to to Betis after, of course, last week they, they beat Hitafe. So it's been a team that so far... Listen, when we first started talking in La Liga, I thought this, this was going to be one of the teams to get relegated, just like Alaves. Alaves so far sitting 13th. That's not that bad. And then Las Palmas sitting in the top 10. Listen, if they were to ask any of us, is Las Palmas going to be in the top 10 halfway through the season or a little earlier halfway through the season, none of us would have said yes. And so far, they're having a pretty decent run. So if, if, if I was to get involved in this game, that money line for Las Palmas looks really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Plus 300 for a team that, again, on paper, the games that they were supposed to win, they've won it. And some games that they weren't supposed to win, like against Atletico Madrid, they still won. So why not put a little bit of faith in them? I mean, on the road, uh, it's a team that doesn't score a lot, but they score. So I, I don't know. If you do want to get involved with it, I would follow you know, exactly what Oaks talked about, a team that gets the, hits the back of the net. Not a lot, but if you focus on this game, yeah, I would go with Las Palmas personally. I wouldn't put a lot in Elvis, who just has such a hard time finding the back of the net. Yeah, Oris says, uh, I see this as a draw. Can't see either t- team scoring twice. Yeah. I like the 1-1 one, one here. Or you could go with Las Palmas. Double chance at minus 125. And for me, I see this being so tight because you've got contrasting styles. You've got one team that's going to be absolutely making sure that they don't go behind in the game. And you've got Las Palmas, who play the same, home or away, that fly down the wings, try and get the ball. But the creative sharpness is not there. When they beat uh, Atletico Madrid, Atletico Madrid put the worst performance in the last 10 years because it's on the eve of the Champions League. So, again, but you take nothing away from them. They still had to score a couple of goals. And they did. Let's have a little look at the official pick. And, again, draw at plus 225. For me, I see it nil-nil, 1-1. One, one, so we're in agreement, Oris. And uh, draw half time again, is the second leg of my free selection parlay. This week. 